Here's my review of Things We Left Behind by Lucy Score. Hi, I'm author Nancy Basile and I write cozy mysteries. You can download one of my mysteries for free using the link in the description. I listened to Things We Left Behind by Lucy Score using my Audible membership. You can also get your own membership using the link in the description below. Things We Left Behind is the last book in Lucy Score's Knock Em Out trilogy and it wraps up the overall mystery that's been going on in Knock 'em Out and involving all of our favorite characters. And it's the last love story that kind of needs to be resolved between Sloane and Lucian. A lot of people uh, love Things We Left Behind as the favorite of the three, but I think that Things We Never Got Over is actually my favorite because I love Knox, the lead male character in Things We Never Got Over. But I will say that Things We Left Behind had much better pacing than the first two books. I will confess that in the first book, I was like, oh my gosh, this is dragging, dragging, dragging. I felt like there were a lot of repetitive scenes where we were just hearing the same thing over and over and dealing with the same conflict over and over. But once we got past like the first third maybe of the book, things really started rolling, which and again, Knox is my favorite of the male characters, and I think that's why I liked things we never got over more than the other two, although they're all three fantastic. All right, let's get into the tropes. This is definitely, a, this is your quintessential grumpy sunshine because there is no one grumpier than Lucian. Lucian Rollins is as grumpy as they come. And although Sloane has a temper, she definitely has a lot of sunshine. For this one, I give the story now what? Partly because I hated leaving Knock 'em Out behind. I fell in love with the town and the characters. So when the story ended, I was left wondering what my next great book series was going to be. Banter. Hit streaming comedy. Lucy Score writes hilarious dialogue. It's funny, it's sarcastic, it's witty. There's lots of inside jokes to enjoy. I give the dialogue definitely hit streaming comedy. Side characters. Well, in the Knock 'em Out series, the side characters are everything. Yes, we love the main characters, but the side characters are even more entertaining. I recently watched an Instagram Live with Lucy Score, and she said that Steph from the Knock 'em Out series is her favorite secondary character of all time. And I can totally see why. So the side characters get hold my hair back, definitely. The setting, Knock 'em Out Virginia, a made up town. I give it buying a timeshare. I would love to have all that land and to have homes where everyone's living on the same piece of land, but I could not deal with that heat. Spice, like every Lucy Score book, Spice definitely gets a sex ed rating. There are some good spicy scenes. It takes a long time to get to those spicy scenes. I'm gonna warn you because these enemies to lovers take a long time to not be enemies anymore. Oh, there's a lot of heated looks. There's a lot of talk about how hot everybody <laughs> is and how much they want it, but it does take quite a while. Once you get there though, sex ed. Like I said, I loved Things We Left Behind and listening to it was a delight. I especially like Sebastian York, the male narrator. He has a fantastic deep voice and both narrators really hit the funny lines. I loved the whole series. Like I said, sometimes it's a little slow to get going, but once you get rolling, it's nothing but fun. If you liked this book review, give me a thumbs up so other readers can find it and then subscribe to the channel so you get more reviews just like this one.